Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com and this is Lloyd Macedo. Day today is January 28, 2016, time right now is 4 in the evening. Uh, you, you know, I, I just took my dogs down for a walk, uh, which I normally do at around uh, 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the afternoon. And as I was taking them for a walk, I, I always go to my cafeteria to order a cup of tea. And uh, then there was this, uh, you know, bunch of Arabic kids, they always come, they see the dog, they start barking, making the woof, 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 bow, wow, and all the stupid sounds. I ignore it. If they want to pet the dog, I don't mind. But then when it comes down to the fact of, uh, come, when it comes down to the fact of uh, abusing my dogs or kicking my dogs, I, I, I don't keep quiet. I don't like it because these dogs are like my children, you know, like uh, uh, the other day I was taking these dogs to walk, uh, an Arab lady with uh, many of her children, she wanted to see the dogs, no problem. And then when the kid came near, my, my dog was sitting quietly. This small little kid, instead of touching the dog, kicks the dog. And the dog just, you know, gets startled and moves back. And, uh, you know, and she found it really cute. She was like laughing and, oh, Allah, this and that. And uh, I, I didn't find it funny. And then she actually encouraged the, the kid to do it again. And I told her, excuse me, you know, you, you don't kick the dog. If you want to pet, you can pet the dog. You can't kick the dog. And then she was like, oh, oh, she went in, you know, that kind of manner. As if, you know, it was like, oh, really? You can't kick the dog? I was stupid. And, you know, when I went just now and I was sitting there, uh, this kid came to kick the dog. And uh, I told him once, I told him twice, told him the third time. And then suddenly all these kids started to get the courage. Oh, he can kick the dog. We can also kick the dog. I had enough. I let them know, don't kick the dog again. This kid came running to kick the dog. I just grabbed him by the fucking collar. I rattled him up and I told him, didn't I tell you not to kick the dog? And I rattled him so much. I think he got a shock of his life. And suddenly everyone, you know, blood just drained out of their face. They got a shock of their life. <sighs> and they just went off their own way. And you know, people were watching. How stupid can you get, man? Don't you have fucking manners? And this kid was like, uh, he was in, uh, go on, bloody Christ, stupid piece of shit. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, the problem is not just that kid. It's his upbringing. It is his parents who are stupid, who don't teach them manners, who don't teach them that these are creatures. These are creatures that need love and not, uh, these are not like playthings. Many of them think they should have a dog and keep it in the balcony in the heat of Dubai, which is around 50 degrees centigrade. They think you need to keep this dog in the heat I know so many of them who tie a dog to a chain and keep it, you know, uh, latched, uh, you know, outside in the heat, the sweltering heat that can kill a human being. They keep the dog and, you know, once a dog grows a little big, they just throw the dog out in, uh, uh, you know, uh, in, in the desert or they throw it in a dustbin. It's, it's so stupid. I, I, I can't understand what kind of human beings these are. These are not human beings. These are fucking animals, worse than animals. Uh, that stupid piece of shit. Kicking my dog. Can you imagine kicking a dog? And that also when the dog is being so sweet, so loving. How can you do that? And then making a face. I should have given the kid a rap or something. Piece of shit. Like. And these are the kids that get beaten up. These are the kids that end up uh, committing crime. These are the kids who end up being senseless. There are, there are some people whose upbringing, tradition and culture is, is ruthless. They don't consider these animals as creatures. They consider them as toys. They consider them as you know, uh, things that they can abuse and remove their frustrations on. And uh, they consider it really nice. And they give it an excuse that this is our culture, this is our tradition, this is our religion, this is whatever. And when they look at a dog, they go like that, oh, I'm impure. But you can drink alcohol, you can smoke cigarettes, you can go, you know, fucking around whoever you want. But that is okay. That is okay. Gossiping, doing bad to others. But a dog, if you touch, oh, that's evil, that's bad. Uh, so you have to kick it, stupid as they are. Seriously, I, I cannot stand such people. I cannot stand such individuals. And I'm really, really glad I rattled that guy. I'm really glad. And next time if I see him, if he misbehaves, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. And even if his father comes, I'm going to tell him the same thing. Because I'm standing there minding my own business. You're coming and interfering in my space. You're coming and kicking my animal. You're coming and kicking, you know, something that is close to me. You want me to shut up? And just look at your face and do nothing. Uh, these these people, uh, they need they need you know, not education. They need common sense.
They shouldn't be kept in society because they are not civil. This is such a shame, I'll tell you. I, I can't tolerate it. And today I was not having a particularly good day. And then I had to face all this. I normally don't lose my cool. But this is one of those rare occasions where I did. So Lloyd from LloydMasira.com and who's LloydMasira.com sharing with you, you know, this, this frustration that people fail to see animals like these, creatures like this, as living beings, you know, and think these are some kind of, uh, you know, stones where they can kick or they can harm. And in the name of, ah, this is a toy. Please don't have pets. To all these people who think you can abuse animals, like, please don't have pets. You don't deserve. You deserve some, you know, bad relationship which will ruin your head and you should be put in some mental asylum, a psychotic ward, you know. These people, which I hate, who abuse animals. I just can't stand them. Live from LionCedar.com, signing off for now. Let me know what you think.